The Toyota Camry, we've seen the advertisements. It keeps going and going and going forever. But how did their marketing campaign stack up against the five most groundbreaking automotive social media and digital marketing campaigns? That's what we're talking about right now. The Toyota Camry effect, Alan, if you will. So this campaign we think is groundbreaking because it really was sort of an innovative multimedia approach. There was the social part, there was the multimedia part. They used Shazam, they used mobile clients. On paper, this looked like really a cool campaign. Except the challenges, even the best plans, if you don't execute, then that's what people are going to talk about. And what's groundbreaking about this campaign is we love the way that it looked, but if you look at the coverage as they rolled this out, what did people talk about? They're spamming everybody on Twitter. So it's interesting that this is groundbreaking because of the way that they approach it, but it's also groundbreaking as a lesson for people who you got to make sure that you're speaking the language of the channel, making sure that you're you know, fitting in with the tone, and all it takes is one of these dimensions not really being executed well. In this case, it was Twitter, and people aren't talking about the campaign and how brilliant it was. They're talking about, they're spamming us on Twitter. And they're not talking about the car. They're not talking about the vehicle. They're talking about the negative connotations that it now has with it. So you really do have to be careful. And, and on the heels of sort of the reliability issues, you remember that you know, Toyota's yeah. had sort of some PR issues um, this, I think, was the right approach in terms of having sort of a fresh start. The community side of this, you go to the microsite, there's all sorts of testimonials. I mean, it feels kind of good, but then you look into this one part and all the other stuff almost doesn't matter when you talk about the social coverage because all it took is that one part that wasn't quite executed the right way, and then a few people start writing about that and then so on and so on. They're not talking about the car, they're not talking about the campaign, they're talking about spam. He is Alan Bondi. I am Tyler Pappen. This is another conversation about the top five most groundbreaking automotive, social, and digital media marketing campaigns.